So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can attach a trail like this to a project tile in your game if you're using Niagara in Unreal Engine. Now I'm going to show you two methods to do this. One is using events in Niagara. This one is more heavy on performance, so we try to use our second method if possible, which is using the attribute reader. Okay, now first let's take a look at our project tile emitter. It's called circle here and my material is a spark material that I use but you can use anything you want for your game. And our focus now will be on this rotate around point module that gives the particle a circular motion. Rotational phase is 0, rotational rate to 0 0.2, this controls the speed. Remember to check the set particle position here, it changes the position of the particle and a radius of 30. Now since we're directly setting the um, particle's position instead of using velocity and acceleration, we actually need this module calculate accurate velocity to help us derive the velocity using its position. Okay, now adding the trail, we were going to need to add a module called generate location event. We're going to drag this to the bottom of our particle update. And what this does is creates a event that contains a lot of data here. And if we expand this module here, we can see it's sending stuff like position, velocity, even the color here into an event that we can send to a ribbon render later that receives this event. And here I added a basic ribbon renderer, a emitter state of a infinite loop, spawn rate zero. We don't actually need spawn rate here because we're using events. Initialize particle, I'm just gonna set lifetime to two with a color to our main color, which is this orange and a ribbon width of three. Particle state with the default ribbon material. Now we can see we are not seeing anything yet because we are not spawning the ribbon particles. So what we want to do now is add a stage here, select event handler. We're going to give the source is the location event of our project tile emitter, execution mode to spawn particle and our spawn number set to one. Now besides this, we'll also need a receive location event. That's what receives the event generated from our project tile module. And you can see the trail is already appearing here. And that's because every time it spawns a particle, since we have our position set to apply here, it will apply our project tiles position to this ribbon. I talked about how like ribbons work in this other video, which if you want to learn more about it, feel free to check it out. As for adding a trail to a project tile, this is pretty much it. And we can polish it more by like maybe scaling the ribbon width so it becomes more uh, skinny towards the end and also maybe like scale the color so we can fade it out on the opacity here so also a curve okay so this is the first way to add a um, trail to a project tile using events which is more performance heavy there's another way in Unreal Engine using attribute readers so let me copy this over and we're just going to get rid of the um, receive event here. What we want instead is an emitter update. We will search for spawn particles from other emitter, which you can see it gives us a error, which will just click fix issue. It will add the required module for us and then also just fix issue here. Okay. Now we need to assign our source emitter. So that would be circle. Yeah, and you can see we already have the trail here. So basically what this does is a particle attribute reader allows us to access another emitter's data directly without even creating a location event, which helps with performance. There's a small problem here is that you can see there's a gap kind of like jittering behind our project tile. And that's because our spawn rate is set to 10, which is too low. So something like 30, would fix the problem. So that's the two um, basic main ways of creating a trail behind a project tile. The event is more heavy on performance, but you can do more with that, especially if you ha want something to do with like particle death or particle collision. 
that's something you can only do with events. But if it's something just like adding a trail to a project tile, feel free to just use the attribute reader, which is much more easy on performance. And I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.